No food fights, no dirt bikes, and no science experiments! Who do you think you are? Lori? <laughs> <laughs> No, none of you are getting it. I found it in the couch fair and square. Wait a second. If there was one quarter down there, then maybe there's more. What are they fighting over this time? A nickel under the ottoman? Nope, a quarter down the sofa. We better stop them before they start fighting. Ow, whoa, whoa. Too late. You did what? I've got my competition! I'm really sorry, Lynn. Why did you take my bike in the first place? I didn't want my friends to see me on Lori's hand-me-down. Uh, hello? What do you think my bike is? A hand-me-down! It is? It's true. It was my bike first. Hey, what gives? What happened to my sheets and blanket? Sister fight protocol. We use them to make a divider in Lori and Lenny's room. Well, what am I supposed to sleep under? Try this. <laughs> oh, right, that's it. I'm willing to try anything. This is my last dolly with hair. <laughs> Relax, it grows back. No, it doesn't! I'm gonna take my own hair <laughs> Let's take that test. You said what now, Sporty? Oh, I snore, do I? How can you hear me over all your sleep farting? Whew. Can't wait to use the real toilet. <laughs> Lola, we found your book in the toilet. Barf! That is not mine. I might be girly and pink, but I do have standards. I think she's telling the truth. I don't. She's sweating more than a vampire in the sun. Let me take a run at her. You know you did it. Admit it. Confess. If you don't tell the truth, your heart will never be set free. Whoa! Take it easy there, Spooky. That's it! You guys really crossed the line this time. I'd say that line was crossed when this happened, bra. Or this. Or this. This is crazy. We can't go on like this. If someone could gently let me down, I think I have an idea. Okay, Clyde. Confidence. Um, hey, guys. Do you think you could just... Ah, that was my foot! What seems to be the problem here? You? Where's Lincoln? I'm temporarily filling in for him and would be happy to help you settle your differences. Lisa stole my best rat, Bitey! Who's Bitey? This is Subject 57A. Ah! That's just great, Lincoln. Those complete strangers you invited into our home just started a fight. Jim would never do that. It was probably Lola's pageant group. They looked vicious. My money's on Lynn's meathead jock friends! Ugh! What? Seriously? No one has a yarn ball to trade me for some catnip? <laughs> I can't build squat! This game bites it! Hard! Well, I see our time is up. We have a 10-way tie for first, with Lynn in a distant second. Count it again! Lynn, I do not make errors. Oh, oh, my my yes, 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 yes. Call me! Oh, my beloved. Get off the guys! What are you doing? Lynn broke Edwin's fang. Tell her she has to pay for his dental work. He's a statue! The only thing I'm paying for is you getting your brain checked. If you give me 10 minutes, I can warm up my MRI machine. Or we could just give her a cat scan. <laughs> Get it? Everybody out! I'm trying to talk to Bobby. No, Lana! It took me two weeks to get to the last level. Uh, I can't believe you did this. I'm so sorry. I spent all day trying to get you back to the trash castle. Lynn and Lisa even helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I died right before I could make it. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? No, just leave me alone. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah! <laughs> 
Uh, greetings, family. Can I help you? You sure can. You can stop using your terrible glasses! They're literally driving us crazy. Look, I'm simply doing what's best for this family. Every lie drags us closer to chaos and ruin. Sweetie, I agree, but sometimes a little white lie helps smooth things over. I firmly disagree. There's no such thing as a good lie. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't expect you'd still want to cheer me on under the circumstances. Cheer you on? Ha! We're here to beat you, and they are here to cheer us on. <laughs> you both perform passably in tryouts, but quite frankly, you don't stand a chance against myself and Airbot. Agreed. Your human brains are a joke. Uh... Uh, Lori, how about treating us to some juicy gossip? Oh, I wouldn't want to annoy anyone with my stories that go on and on. Ugh, I'm out of here. Lost my appetite. That is false. You still have it. Fine, I'll eat in my room. Me? I just can't believe you would say that to me. I probably don't eat cool enough. Lola, what was your tiara doing under Flip's tires? What? Everybody's wearing them nowadays. <laughs> Save it! I can't believe you! You've been lying this whole time! The garbage trucks, the cake, the ball! There haven't been any mix-ups at all! You just wanted the party your way again! It's not fair, Lola! It was my turn! I'm taking our present from Aunt Ruth. Enjoy your party! <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's ride! We should go talk to Luna right now. <laughs> We can't do that. Then she'll know that we've been reading her diary. Which, as we've agreed, is wrong. But I guess what Luna's doing isn't the end of the world. So let's put the diary back and pretend this never happened. Boo, right. you're no fun. Ew. Hey, heard you're doing laundry. Thanks. Might want to run these twice. This makes no sense. I'm no Al Einstein, but I'm pretty sure we just got our butts beat. I am aware of the proverbial posterior thrashing and will find a mathematical fix. Promise. No, you've done enough. I put my trust in you and your numbers and it ruined my team. I don't want your help anymore. <gasps> oh no, oxytocin and endorphins. Street name, Tears. Is that lime jelly? No, it's a spleen. <laughs> Lenny? Hello? Oh, me okay, yep, she is officially in over her head. I mean, Lori would have handled all this in two seconds flat. Poor thing. Huh? Lori! That's it! <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles, tell this person I never wish to speak to her again. Lola, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have treated you like that. It's just... I'm jealous of you. Hmm? You always steal the spotlight with your charm and talent. The Mortician's Club was the one place I could shine. So when you joined, I felt threatened. I know it's silly. Not necessarily. Believe it or not, I feel the exact same way about Lisa. All that stinking genius and inventions to save humanity. Ugh, annoying. So you forgive me? Mm-hmm. Hug. 